I'm here right now with nothing from the CSGO community. Been competing since 2008, but we're at the LCS studios. Uh, now, what's interesting is that there's actually a major CSGO event happening on the other side of the world right now, yet you are not there. Instead, you were at the League of Legends event. What is going on? I decided I like the weather okay. a lot better than competing in million dollar tournaments. It's pretty much that simple. Yeah. So, you know, I'm just out here enjoying myself eating the street tacos. Unfortunately, watching our team get 2-0'd by TSM, but they're a great team. Even though I didn't know what was going on much, I had a good time supporting them, and yeah, we're just hanging out. Okay. Well, so what is going on with the Cloud9 CSGO team? I ask legitimately because I don't follow CSGO, but I assume that something went horribly wrong that had we, led you in this parking lot instead of being in Germany. I don't, like, we've got people <laughs> at Yahoo Esports to cover CSGO. I don't have to worry about that. All right, sweet. That's okay. cool. Um, yeah, so the next event before we have like a two week summer break for all the top CS Pro teams yeah. um, is E League. Yeah. And you might have just saw we got an E League because yeah. SK did something where they broke the rules and left yeah. their org mid season. So unfortunately, it was a decision for them that left them out of the tournament. So now that's our next tournament. We're in the top eight at E League, the TBS event. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be going to Atlanta to film that in a couple weeks. Okay. What uh, what do you think of that whole SK Gaming thing? Because I know there was a lot of uproar. Some of the players were saying this isn't fair. Some of the owners were uh, reportedly involved yeah. in that complaining. I'm curious what your take is. Well, uh, it sucks that the Brazilians didn't know that the team's on the spot. Um, they're friends of ours. You know, obviously, if Ely came to us as players and said, hey, it's up to you, do you want to take their spot or not? We'd have said no. You yeah. know, they beat us fair and square. We're competitors. We, we're not going to try to give a cheap shot there. But... They pointed out to us that, hey, the org's due on the spot. You can't swap rosters during the season. And this is not no longer their slot and broke the rules and they're out. Obviously, we're happy to compete. We really wanted to be a part of the, the top eight anyways. We were still in the last chance qualifier to try to get there. But uh, yeah, sucks for them, honestly, because they're good guys and they deserved the spot. Just uh, unfortunate ruling got them out. Well, now that you'll be entering uh, E-League in their stead, uh, what do you think your chances are over the next couple of weeks? I mean, the chances are as good as they've been lately. I think we could beat most of the top teams, but our consistency has been kind of up and down. I think teams like Luminosity, Fnatic are the teams that we can't structure our strats against as well. So that's where we have tough time because we all need to contribute individually to be able to match up against teams with that much skill. So if we don't do that, then we don't have a chance of beating those guys. But we definitely can beat a lot of the teams in the tournament if we just bring a good strategy and a good mindset and we're all, you know, on point. Now, I know it's unfortunate that you guys are not at the major. Do you watch the major whenever you are at home? Or is it just sort of like, I don't even want to see this. I wish I was there. I mean, no. Anytime. We have our own practice schedule, of course. But today I woke up, watched Liquid 2-1 Navi. That was a big yeah. game. Watched some of the Fnatic games. Then we had some sponsor stuff to do. But uh, I like... I don't know, it's fun to keep up with the top teams, and occasionally they show you something you might have not seen. Um, but yeah, just kind of, it's fun to see how the teams are playing against each other, especially our North American brothers. Well, yeah, what did you think of that uh, match today? I know everybody going pretty crazy. A uh, bunch of people freaking out at it over at the Yahoo offices. What, what did you think? Well, I think Liquid's a team with a lot of skill, and it's unfortunate Simple's leaving their team. Um, you know, I think they kind of got lucky that they got to play Nuke, but I think Liquid definitely could beat them on many maps, just straight up with skill. So it's not that they didn't deserve to beat them. I just think if they still had to play like Inferno or something, it would have been really tough. Yeah. Whereas a team like Navi. But, uh, yeah, they won it. They deserved it. And they, they definitely are looking good. So I might not be surprised to say Liquid could beat Fnatic because Fnatic's a little unconfident, it looks, it looks in some of their play right now. When they get the momentum, they still roll with it like the old Fnatic. So uh, it's going to be an exciting matchup. Very good. Now, finally... Uh, what I know you, now you have to go compete over in, in E-League, very exciting for you guys. What are you guys doing to kind of prepare and make sure that you're, you're ready for this whole thing? Um, basically, we're just looking into more like rewatching our own play and trying to highlight positives. That's the only thing we're doing differently. Otherwise, we're doing what you always do, right? You go, go to the drawing board, you try to get everything prepared, and then individually we're just going to try to make sure we're on point. I mean, Sometimes it doesn't take anything special to get you on point in terms of preparation. It just takes everyone being in the right mindset to, to kind of bring that team chemistry and that potential performance, you know. I think, is there anything that you would like to say to any of the Cloud9 CSGO fans out there? Thanks for the support. Anyone who gives us our unwavering love, obviously we appreciate it. You know we're out here trying hard, even if the results always don't show it. 
doesn't mean we don't care. So all the people out there who show us love, even when things don't go our way, really appreciate it. And of course, if you want to learn more about Cloud9, our website, cloud9.gg. Thank you, Travis, for the interview and Yahoo Esports. Is there anything you would like to say to any of the Cloud9 League of Legends fans out there? TSM's pretty good. Sorry, guys. Nice try today. Yep, there we go. Uh, thank you so much for the interview. It's a pleasant surprise to see you here, as always, just popping up randomly in my life, uh, different esports events and across Southern California. You can yeah. check out the rest of our coverage of all things esports here at Yahoo Esports.